Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Regalia of Men and Monarchs. So, when we left off, we had just completed a text adventure, and we had succeeded in completing half of the challenges in the last combat situation. Now we are here in this campsite, and we have, well, both Signy and Griffith apparently want to speak to us. So, let's go and speak to Signy first and see what she has to say. The ancestors are with us. The lion is a fierce opponent. If our paths were to cross in a duel to death, I would fall for sure. Ah, unnecessary flattery, Lady Signy. Your martial prowess remains second to none. That battle would hardly go my way. The lion's humility does him credit. I am looking forward to fighting our enemies together. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine, I assure you. Oh, well, if, <laughs> oh, look at you two, you're cute together. <laughs> okay, we gotta say that to make things uncomfortable, right? Really? Merely master? camaraderie between fellow warriors, I assure you. The duckling makes confusing sounds sometimes, as you can look at her face. That's absolutely hilarious. Tell me about it. Yeah, there you go. So <laughs> we made things uncomfortable for everyone. Yay, that's what we do. <laughs> All right, so let's go out of the campsite, and we're now going to go to the next node. I, obviously, this is part of the kingdom quests. We need to complete five before the 48 days are up. Obviously, we can complete a numerous amount of them. Okay, so should I go down here? Let's go down here. This, I believe, is a text adventure. You encounter a lone, gnarled tree, long since whitened by time. Its dead, ashen branches pine for the skies in an embracing gesture, retaining an odd sense of slumbering vitality. Needless to say, it visibly stands out from the surrounding flora. Examine the tree. The trunk itself appears old, but in good condition. Strangely unblemished by trappings of age, aside from many obviously man-made knife scars. Hundreds of tiny copper amulets hang from the tree's twisting branches, likely a remnant of some obscure custom or ritual. You recall hearing stories about similar good luck practices among local children? Couples? You cannot recall. Ah, okay. Kick the tree. Why would we kick the tree? Alright, well, what we're going to do is we're going to pluck one of the amulets from the branches. These small corded amulets are almost coin-like in size and style. As far as you can tell, they are all exactly the same. Round, rough to the touch, and minted with some simplistic symbols. There is an inscription around the trim. Upon the moon so blue, wish, and it'll come true. All right, so I think we're going to take this. You pocket the amulet and return to your journeys, and we gain this, which is plus 20% negative effects resistance. So that's going to give us a little bit of extra resistance to, well, I would assume bleed effects, you know, scare, terror, frighten, and all that panic stuff. And we gain some experience as well. So that's not too bad. All right, so now we have one more combat scenario. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be getting, but ah, let's have a look and see if we can complete some challenges. All right, so of course the main objective is to defeat all enemies. Ah, be the first party to deal damage in a battle. Be the first party to deal damage? All right, so well, I'm going to try and do that because that means, you know, Signy is going to come in handy there. And also, we are, of course, going to land all of the finishing strikes with the same character. Or, at the very least, we're going to try to do that. Aha! Okay, so we're against some wolves and things like that? Okay. Well, I think that's a pretty, that's a pretty decent layout, I suppose. We're just going to finish the deployment. I'm a little bit worried about the bird. As you can see, the bird is very, very fast. Ah! Oh. Oh, just going to silence. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. Whoa, the bird has huge movement points. I am really surprised about that. Okay, well, we thankfully, now. Yes. now we can move. And what we're going to do is not use the keyboard to try to move the camera. I almost did this time around. Almost did once again. So hopefully we can prevent ourselves from having any mishaps. And then we're going to deal damage. Can I deal damage? Oh, I can't deal damage. 
from this range. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? That is a real shame. Okay, so... Use an item from your inventory. I can do this. Performing actions or receiving... No, cancels all movement performed by the character during their activation. No, obviously we're not going to do that. We've moved. So, yeah, that seems to be it. Griffith, where is he? Is, he the, is, is that him? I'm getting mixed up between Kay and Griffith now because they look rather similar when I can't see the entirety of one of them. But, yes, there's Griffith, and I think he'll be able to go around and hit the bird. So I don't really need to do anything with Signy right now. I suppose I should just use Enrage. There we go, because she is going to be absolutely beastly. So there we go, that's absolutely fine. Now let's move Griffith over here, and we're just going to hit with Pinpoint Strike. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I could technically do more damage by using a Blitz. And I'm unsure whether we should do that. All of the wolves are going to be moving first. How many wolves are there? There's three of them over to the left. And then we have one over here. Technically they are Vargs, not wolves, but still. Maybe I should do that. Should I? We're not going to kill it, I don't think. Or maybe we are. Okay, let's try. Oh, we did it, yes. Okay, wow, that yet. was very, very close. Okay, so now what we can do is we can actually move Griffith back, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move him away from the rabid Varg, because no doubt it's going to do quite a bit of damage. And hopefully these things will not catch up to us. Oh, they're, they're quite close. Oh, they empower each other with howls to the sky. Well, that's a bit worrying, isn't it? Yeah, Here they seem go. to have wolf pack as well. Wolf pack seems to do something. Silenced cannot do anything. I can just literally move around, which is really bad. Very bad in actual fact. Okay, so then the rabid Varg is going to be the one to move. Okay, so I suppose that's fine. We move now, yes? Oh, we can actually move. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, so can I deal some damage? Yes, I can deal damage to that. Can deal damage to that. Alright, so, okay, so instead of doing this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move into the middle of all of them, and then I'm going to use Whirlwind, because that is going to deal damage to this and to this, and I think that is the way to go, probably. So let's do that. Oh yeah, look at that damage. That damage is insane. That's really nice. Now what we can technically do, if we want to, is we can use Blitz, if we so desire. Now... What that would then give me the opportunity to do is probably kill one of these. So maybe I should do that? Ancestors, Let's do it. Why not? Alright, so. Technically we could kill this, and we could probably kill that. Can I kill anything else though? That's the thing. Can I actually damage two at the same time? Doesn't seem like I can, so I'm a bit... Eh. I'm a bit, bit disappointed by that, but that's okay. I guess I could just pounce here. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Okay, we took out one. That's great. That's what we wanted to do. And I'm going to actually move Signy back here so that one of the wolves will have to come over here and take up, well, the attack space, basically. So the other one has to go around us. And hopefully that's going to make a difference. Anyway, I'm going to remember this time to actually improve the side. speed of the combat because otherwise it's going to take forever, isn't it? Yes, it does take forever. Okay, so let's just hit normally with a nice pinpoint strike right there and then we're going to move a little bit back so that K can actually give us a shield if we so desire we have been poisoned however receives damage equal to 10% of our maximum health as pure at the end of an activation bypassing shield points that's pretty harsh that is actually pretty harsh. Whoa, Chomp is very powerful as well. Look at that. Chomp is actually dealing a lot of damage. Okay, so, well, considering, I think we're actually going to be giving him a shield here. Going to give Griffith a shield, and I I don't even know what else to do. I, 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 could, I guess I could just go to the side here and hopefully have one of the wolves deal damage to us, but these guys are going to do a lot of damage. Wow, he's dead. We move now, yes? He's dead. Griffith is gone. Griffith is literally gone. I am very surprised about that. Okay, so we now technically can use Pounce on both of these. And I guess we're going to be doing that. I suppose. Yeah, I guess we're going to be doing that. 
That's some good damage. That is some good damage. I can actually do that again. And let's do that over here. Can I? Can I? Yeah, I can. Yeah, okay. So, oh, we missed one. We missed one. That is not very good. That is not good at all. Okay. Well, what are we going to do? She has... She can probably survive. Well, K can survive quite nicely. So, I think we're just going to move Signy around. Hopefully... Yeah, okay, they're using Howl again. That's good. That uses up his entire turn, which is fantastic. I'm going to try and shoot. Oh, no. Shooting is not very good. I could use Rend, which does more damage. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use Rend here. Yeah, there you go. Take out the rabid one. And then we just have one left. And this one is not going to be able to do anything. Hopefully it's not actually going to make too much difference. Griffith dying. I hope that he still gains experience. I'm not entirely sure about this. Oh, that was really close as well. That was absolutely really, really close. Okay, well, we're just going to do pounce then, I suppose. Can we? <laughs> we're going to hit K. We're going to hit K, but that's okay. Because he has enough HP to be able to sustain the damage, so that's fine. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we're not going to have, well, Griffith get no experience now. I very much hope that he's still going to be able to gain experience. I don't know whether that is indeed the case. Shall we take a look, actually? Let's see. Where where is he? Is he is he alive still? He seems fine. Did he did he gain exper experience to level up? He has six hundred and twenty out of six hundred and oh no no that's the party level. Aha. Okay. Well, there you go then. So everything's absolutely fine because I thought in general we were going to have some problems, but apparently not. So I guess I'm just going to give give him the lucky charm because he's most likely going to be afflicted by negative effects like the poison that we just had on us. So yeah, it probably would have been a good idea for us to, yeah, probably go there or something. Okay, I'm going to enter this node here because, well, he's technically KO'd. I'm not entirely sure whether he is, yeah, it seems like that's fine. So I can just save here. There you go. And I, I guess we can rest. Well, revive your defeated party members. You can only do this once. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's rest. Why not? Because he's most likely, you know, dead. So, well, not dead, but you know what I mean. Knocked unconscious. So, yes, at least now he's back to fighting strength. And we'll be able to go over here to the final node. Darkest treachery right at your doorstep. Someone once said that civilization is the greatest of jungles. Now, you find yourself on the verge of proving that point. Through unforeseen circumstances, you find yourself lost in the seemingly endless bales of hay. Embarrassingly, it dawns upon you that you have little idea how to navigate yourself out of this farmhouse trap. Oh no. You pause desperately trying to make sense of this alien world you found yourself in. A distant braying from somewhere beyond the fence reaches your ears, but it offers no solace. Everything you see is dry, grassy, and yellow. If madness had a color, it would be hay. The maze is truly all-consuming. You have to get out, but be, be mindful to remain vigilant. Who knows what eldritch horrors await you in this rural nightmare? Oh no. Well, where are we gonna go? Shall we go left, forward, right? Let's go forward. You go forward. For some reason, as someone has cut out a weird symbol in the crops here. You're not sure, but you think such things should, at the very least, be symmetrical. Go right. Something hairy and unpleasant drops suddenly on the back of your neck. You jump around, expecting divine judgment, but instead, you find erratic. Unfortunately, it's not alone. Far from alone, in fact. So we're going to go and fight. We are going to go and fight, and we are going to... Take care of business. Defeat two enemies with a single ability. Win with one combatant deployed. Really? Wow. Okay, so how much HP do these guys even have? They have 319. Oh my. Well, there's, there's so many of them. I don't really want to do that challenge, to be honest. Well, this is going to be very difficult, isn't it? Okay, shall we just sw swap them around a little bit? I, I like K to be in a different place. There we go. When you ain't got nothing, you got nothing yes, to lose. Yes. Oh yeah, very true. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do... Oh, there's a Ratic there as well. Oh my, okay. So I guess what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over here. Pounce on this thing. 
There we go. That's some nice damage dealt. And we can actually all move immediately, can't we? Yes, we can all move very, very quickly. So if I move around here, it's not going to do much. But I suppose it will maybe draw them away from K, perhaps. Leave this to me. Okay, so now we have K. And it would probably be a good idea to head down here and shoot this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we killed that. And now we're done here, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, so let's see what they decide to do. Hopefully they're not going to be annoying. I have a bad feeling that they are probably going to be annoying. There's quite a few over there killing Griffith, but that's okay because he's, he's a beast. You know, he has a lot of HP right now. All right. Oh, this is great. This is really good. Now, if we can move here and then use Pounce. Oh, yeah. That is amazing damage right there. Or not, as the case may be. But we are going to be using Whirlwind. Wow. Really? Missed? And then missed again on on the other? <laughs> wow. Okay. That was, that was actually kind of sad, wasn't it? I could use Blitz again, but I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to pass. Going to use this on these guys. There we go. Give me that shielding. Give me that shielding. That's really nice. And Here then K can just come around the side. Uh, I think he can just shoot. Can he shoot from... Oh, no, he can't shoot. But he can use this, I guess, and give a little bit more shielding to Griffith. Signy is going to be absolutely fine, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it seems like they're just missing all the time. Uh, and even if they do hit, it doesn't really matter because the more that they, you know, crowd around her and things, the better it is because I can just use Massacre, which is what, actually what I'm going to do. Was that it? Oh, now I'm kind of sad. <laughs> now I'm kind of sad. Oh, well, never mind. I guess I can just block off, you know, this rat over here and then we can just let them surround us once again. Okay, well... I suppose that's fine. I was hopeful for something a little bit better there, but oh well. Never mind. Okay, so I can technically go over here. Let's hit them with a melee. Or just miss. I have no idea how K can miss from point blank range, but 80% chance, I suppose, is the way to go. Uh, yeah, not, not particularly good. I'm not very happy with that outcome, but well, what can you do? Just the way it is sometimes. Now, Signy is obviously going to have a really, really nice time of things now. She can obviously use Whirlwind once again. Hopefully, she's going to kill all of these around her. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. That's really, really nice. Then we're going to use that and pounce on this. There we go. Just, just try and deal as much damage as we can, really. Now, Kay can go over here. And he's going to... Oh, no, it's actually Griffith. Oh, well, that, well I guess that's fine. That's also fine. We, we don't have any blitzes or, or anything like that, so that's a bit of a shame, but... Well, what can you do? Uh, I could technically move over here and then shoot. Can I? Really? I can't actually see that? That is weird. Oh, well, never mind. I'm just going to give Signy some shielding. There we go. And then the rats can obviously do their thing. They're probably going to miss or have us dodge or something along those lines. Not really a big deal. And there you go. Okay, so we're, we're done now, I think. Not unless the rats continue to dodge us. Oh, very annoying, isn't it? Okay, let's try. There we go. Alright, so now die, please. Yes. Alright, defeat two enemies with a single ability. Yes, we at least did that challenge. Ah, your traveling party will not always approve of your decisions during text adventures. Remember that the next time you solve some questionable dilemma. With the danger put to the sword, you notice the Radics have apparently chomped their way through the labyrinth. It turns out the exit was right near you for the entire time. Truly an adventure worthy of a hero. 25 experience. You have cleared all of the available nodes in this dungeon. And there you go. So that, uh, yeah, six days have passed, which is a little bit unfortunate. And we now have something else happening. Caravans? I asked him to get some goods from Minwei. The roads aren't exactly safe, but we need trade. 
And no sane man would dare to mess with one of the gnomish princes. But he's not a merchant prince. Right. Don't tell that to the bandits. You don't seem to like Master Andorus all that much. He is resourceful, I guess. And persistent. Might as well make the most of it. I detect a scathing undertone in your voice, my lady. I'm just a simple merchant, trying to make a living. See? You didn't say honest. Does the quality of my service offend you? Depends if that jar of golden liquid you unpacked three boxes ago truly is a quote-unquote potion for good fortune. <laughs> uh, perhaps an empirical sample is in order. A small discount for my benefactors. Well... Thanks, but no thanks. Shucks! Someone was stowed away in the supplies! Ow, ow, ow! Are you alright? Could be better. You? Oh, I ate toast for breakfast and... What the hell were you doing in a vase? My vase! On my caravan! The doll! Oh, the last thing I need right now is human trafficking charges! What do you think one can do in a vase? You're not going to just talk your way out of this. Who are you? Okay, okay, Miss Pissy. Call me Alice. I, I, my vase! You violated my vase! I didn't violate anything. I hitched a ride. All the way from Minway? That raises disturbing questions. And I suppose you want me to answer them now? So why did you hide in that vase, miss? Fine. Ignore my vase. You'll come begging to me for discounts later. Oh, you know how it is. You stick your head a little out of the crab bucket, and suddenly, everyone's aiming to lop it off. You live, you're bound to make somebody mad. Get enough heat, and it's time to change the ambiance. Wouldn't be the first time, anyway. <sighs> Look, it's complicated. For now, I'm just looking for a place to crash in. No strings attached, no charity involved. Believe me, I can pull my weight. You're awfully keen to lie low, aren't you? Hey, I'm not a criminal if that's what you're getting at. Sis? What are you looking at me for? The decision is not mine. You'll have to talk to our brother about this. Then I will. Ah, I see. So a new visitor we have. All right. So we are going to head back to Ascalia here. And we're going to go in and see where Alice is. I'm I'm pretty sure she's going to be waiting at the keep, probably. Or, or not, actually, as the case may be. Uh, well, maybe she is with Gwendolyn and Elaine, or maybe they're just going to tell us about it. Who knows? But what I do know is that I'm going to end this episode off here. Next time we're going to meet Alice, I assume. And if you enjoy this series, please do hit those buttons down below and comment if you want to see more. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.